in this video, we're going to be running through the preps functionality in the Restoke platform. This preps under operations being different to those found under recipes and menus and for prep recipes. We'll deal with those a bit later on in a different tutorial. But here we're going to be dealing with preps and what preps is, is essentially a mise en place or ensuring that we are prepared for service, that our kitchen is ready for service, that we've brought enough of everything we need on a given day to be able to create our dishes and run our kitchen um, and service our customers. So this prep section focuses on the ingredients, items or foods that we'll need to be able to assemble our dishes and run our service. Um, and preps can be further split into actually the you know outside the kitchen, the holistic view of the restaurant as a whole being prepared, and that's where the procedures fall into. So things outside the um, you know just the kitchen will also fall in procedures such as equipment pre preparation or certain things being cleaned. That's something we'll deal with in another video. For here, we're going to deal with preps, which is our mise en place and making sure that we're ready for service. So what that looks like um, before we get into one of these examples is how we create a new prep. We click in the top right corner here. We name it. We assign a department to it. We can choose whoever we want to be the ones that are viewing it and completing the prep on a given day um, on their my day. You can choose what days of the week you want this prep to be completed. So just for example... We choose these days and the times we want it to appear and to disappear. And then it's, it's just a matter of putting in the item the way you want it stored or prepped. Um, so that will depend on what type of item it is. Shredded lettuce might have a tub. And then the quantities for each day of the week, depending on how busy you think you'll be. Something you'll have to iterate over time. Let's jump into a pre-prepared um, prep so that we can get a better idea so if we jump into cold kitchen fill ups, um, and I might just actually show an example here of what happens if you need to do the same prep twice a day. So this one's been prepared for the afternoon. If you click in, you'll see that it's got all its things preset for the given days and the times for the afternoon. But let's say we wanted to do this in the morning as well. It's not a matter of creating a whole new prep. It's actually a matter of duplicating an existing one. So just click duplicate. Yes, you'll see the copy here. And it's just a matter of customizing it to the time that you've actually used it for. So this was intended for the morning, whereas the other one was for the afternoon. We get rid of this text and we would have to customize the time. So assuming it's a morning thing, you might want it done before the service starts. So real early prep. Um, let's go 7 till 9 a.m. And essentially that's all you need to do there. You've just duplicated the prep and it's now for two times in the day with the particular times it needs to pop up for your particular staff. Um, now, running through here, it looks like we're dealing with like a burger slash sandwich restaurant. So what that means for us is ensuring that we have enough of everything to create those items. So sauces, feta, um, our cucumbers, tomatoes, lettuce, whatever it is that we need to assemble our dishes, we need enough of it on a given day in the quantities that we want to be using it in. So here, for example, we have barbecue sauce. We want it to be bottled because that's how typically barbecue sauce is used or utilized. And these are the quantities that have been set throughout the week. As you can see in the tail end where it gets busy on the weekend, there's a bit more. And again, it's an iteration type job. We will have to learn over time. But don't fret if for whatever reason on a given day you don't have enough, you can pop in and you can increase the load of you know quantities that need to be created for a given day. These can be edited. Um, another thing to note is that the actual, you know, requirement or prep need can be customized to include the recipe uh, and these recipes are actually pulled from the prep recipes that you would have created earlier down in this section so let's say you have a barbecue sauce prep recipe in here um, and you just want to add it in to be attached on the front facing end you would just simply click barbecue sauce and submit it and it'll be attached to this um, prep also you can have edit instruct you can have instructions so you click edit instructions and add further instructions such as the portions how you want to be stored labeled all of that it's up to you. Um, and to give a good illustration of how this looks, we can actually go to the front end. So moving away from this and going to the My Day, um, if you want to see what a prep looks like, you just simply add the prep. So in this case, we're dealing with the cold kitchen fill-ups. So let's create it. That's the one we were just looking at. And what will happen is the staff will look at this end and they will all have to complete a stock check. So based on your optimal stock levels, they will be pretty much comparing what you have in the kitchen um, compared to what you actually need. So let's say, you know, you're going through, we're not going to do all of them, but we're going to randomly select. You can complete the stock check. And what that actually does is it will then indicate to the staff member how much of each one we still need. 
Um, see here, we enter zero, so one still required, three required, and you, your staff member can go through and tick it off until it's all marked as completed, um, which you will click at the bottom here. But for example, if something had an issue, um, you can actually click the asterisk and you can write the issue, not enough bottles. Like it could be a number of things, but that would be submitted. And then asterisk, as you can see there, and it'll be submitted to you with that issue. And the last thing to note is the instructions and the recipes we were discussing before. So let's say we click on mustard, um, mustard items. This is what is required to create the mustard sauce, um, the quantities, and then you can have further instructions on actually like, you know, how to mix it around, how to store it, how you want to label the bottles, all that can be customized. So that's just the front facing end. So going back into preps, one last thing to note is in this situation, it was like a matter of, you know, preparing certain items in a certain way to be used for assembling a dish. Um, in this case, it could also be a matter of actually having, you know, our patties ready for service. So we needed to frost patties on a daily basis to have enough for the following day. And that could also be a prep recipe in itself. Uh, sorry, not a prep recipe, a prep for um, the following day. That's essentially it to get you started.